Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today's video is going to be me reacting to y'all's true false assumptions about me. So hopefully I'll get into some more juicy stuff, some things I've never addressed before. Thank you so much to Madewell for sponsoring today's video. Madewell has challenged me to share what I'm made of and I thought this video would be perfect to kind of let you guys get to know me on a deeper level and share kind of who I am as a person. But also your outfit can really tell a story and kind of share who you are as a person without even having to say a word so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing today so everything that I'm wearing today is made well and I'm sure you guys have heard of made well before but they're basically known for their denim their t-shirts just key classic timeless pieces for your wardrobe and I threw on a very Lena outfit I feel like this really incorporates my personal style with just like the light tones and a little bit more of a structured blazer fashion has always been a way that I love to express myself and I would describe my personal style as very like feminine with like light and airy colors but still a little bit minimal effortless chic modest those are all words that i would use to describe my personal style i feel like my style kind of shows my sweet side but also like the sophisticated side um it shows that i have like ambitions and goals and with modesty it kind of shows that i have a higher standard for myself in the way that i dress so i feel like your outfit really does tell a story without you having to even say a word about yourself this blazer is actually the perfect transition piece into spring because it's kind of a lighter weight uh, like linen blend blazer i love that it's a little bit longer in the back a little bit more like a boyfriend fit these jeans are the perfect fit i love that they're high-waisted and straight leg they're a really nice like modest fit and i actually don't have this gray wash in my wardrobe so it's like the perfect addition these shoes are just like a really nice pointed mule i love these style of shoes for spring the pointed toe is really classic and i just love that it's kind of like a throw on and go kind of style but it's not like a sandal so it's really good to transition gold dainty jewelry also really fits my personal style so i chose this gorgeous chain from madewell as well so i just really feel so beautiful in this outfit because i really feel like myself i will leave the link down below in the description box for you guys to shop the latest from madewell and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys are made of and kind of tell me what your personal style is with the hashtag everyday madewell so let's go ahead and get into y'all's assumptions okay so the first one i screenshotted is you wish you had friends this is alluding that i don't have any friends which is not the case i definitely do have friends i just really choose to spend time with people that i just have developed really close relationships with like my family when i was in school i made friends at school whenever i was at work i made friends with my co-workers i'm just the kind of person that likes to spend my free time with people that i really develop like a super close relationship with the next one is you control your husband and omar's behind the camera so we'll see if he has any commentary on this but i would say that I don't control my husband I feel like I have maybe some controlling tendencies with certain things like fashion or home decor or something but even if I tried to control Omar I feel like he's just not the kind of person that would let me I, I let you control me oh okay <laughs> <laughs> he lets me control like the little things like I don't know like fashion choices or like which couch I want to buy or just something like that but when it comes to like other things that I'm not good at like money or finances he, I just let him take control of those things. So it's kind of like a collaborative team effort. You want about three to four kids if possible. And I would say this is true. We have always kind of said three to four. Both Omar and I came from families with four children. So we kind of just, that's just what we know. After having Elena, we just love her so much. Like I just want like a million babies. <laughs> you care about looks, presentation, and what people think of you way too much. So I would say this was true, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at this. So the way I kind of think of it is like when you're inviting someone over to your house, you like to straighten up and make things look neat and tidy and kind of like just show respect to your guests in that way. And that's kind of the way that I treat my social media. Like I always want to put my best self out there and show you guys the best side of me it's not always that i'm trying to like pretend like i'm perfect because nobody is perfect i'm trying to get better at that and show like the real side of things more maybe some of it is that i care what people think of me but i feel like as human beings we all kind of have a little bit of that in us like we all kind of care what people think of us so yeah but it's something i'm working on you're really shy and awkward but super nice i love your videos <laughs> Thank you so much and I would say this is probably true. I definitely have my awkward moments I feel like we're all kind of awkward, but yeah, definitely. I feel like I'm awkward a lot <laughs> 
you make more money on social media than you did at your old nursing job. So I stopped nursing whenever I started making the same amount of money, blogging and doing YouTube as I was at my nursing job. And that would not be possible without you guys. And I'm so grateful to each and every one of you who supports me on a daily basis. I love y'all so, so much. It's not that I don't love nursing because I was very passionate about my job there as well. I was just so much more passionate and it was just so fun having like my own business and just having my own channel and just creating content i just love all that stuff so much and it was just really hard to do both omar made you wear hijab and i thought this one was a funny question because i mean a lot of you guys already know that it was my choice to wear the hijab but i put the hijab on when, when omar and i were basically still dating and it would not have been in his favor for me to put it on at that time because we didn't get married for at least a couple years later and like i had to wear my scarf around him things were just a little bit more like you know there was that the definite barrier between us so like more formal. yeah it was a lot more formal it was a kind of weird time even though we were still dating he was definitely very supportive of my decision you sometimes feel like an outsider in either cultures never fully belonging to either one and this is a hundred percent true i mean i don't speak arabic so a lot of times whenever i'm around my dad's side of the family and they're cracking jokes and speaking in arabic and even omar's family <laughs> i just can't understand and i just feel like i just don't belong sometimes i have to wait for the translation and then a lot of times when i'm around my mom's side of the family i just feel like i just can't i don't know like i'm never white enough or whatever you know so yeah it's just always been a little bit of a struggle i feel like that's anyone with two cultures i assume you are sensitive and emotional not in a bad way of course you guys are so sweet even the way you're asking the questions you guys are so considerate of my feelings and i love y'all yes i would say i'm very sensitive and emotional always have been literally since i was born so that's just the kind of person that i am <laughs> your house is always super clean and tidy and <laughs> i wish that was the case so if you guys watched our house tour maybe that's why you think that but basically we shoved everything into the laundry room that was the only room that we didn't see in the house tour because all the junk was in there it was piled in there yeah we couldn't even walk in there so we have a six month old baby right now there's toys everywhere literally my house is a regular house so please don't worry <laughs> you grew up wealthy we didn't grow up wealthy but my dad came to the u.s to go to school when he was 18 he came with literally nothing and he started his own business and i'm sure that that's the story for several of you guys who have immigrant parents and i feel like we should just be so proud of where we came from and how hard they worked they were able to create a beautiful life for their family just starting from literally nothing we weren't like millionaires or anything growing up we never like thought of our ourselves this like super wealthy something funny is that me and my sisters were talking about this we actually thought we were like poor growing up because anytime we would ask for like toys or anything my mom would just tell us that we didn't have enough money we never had like the mindset that we had a lot of money your pregnancy was unplanned it was not unplanned it definitely happened quicker than we thought it would literally the first month we got pregnant which we were very like shocked about but we were so thankful omar is the jealous slash protective type <laughs> And I honestly wish this was true because... <laughs> you want me to be more jealous? Yeah, because then it would like make me feel like, like he loved me so much. Like oh he like God. is so protective and just... <laughs> you but don't no. give me a reason to be jealous. He's not, he's not the jealous type. I feel like I would be the jealous type. You are the jealous type, but I don't give you a reason. <laughs> I'm jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're very talkative and nice on camera, but very antisocial in real life to other people. I would say this is false. I feel like, yes, I'm like an introvert and I like to spend time with my family, but like whenever I'm around people, I like to talk and converse and like add to the conversation. Yeah. What do you think, Omar? I think when you meet somebody new, you're a little bit kind of reserved. It's a little reserved, yeah. But when you, when you open up and you get to know them a little bit better, you're yeah. a social butterfly. Oh, okay. Cooking Middle Eastern food intimidates you? Yes, girl. Like, I have made none of my favorite foods. Like, I, I haven't learned how to make any of them. Like, grape leaves or what I not That's the same thing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Anyways, I have a long way to go, you guys. So you make cauliflower. That was in the Instant Pot. So that's kind of like cheating. And that's just like a little side dish. Anyways, yeah, I do need still... to learn 
those foods because they're like my favorite foods growing up and I need to be able to make them for Alina. You have wanted to take your hijab off before. I feel like I'd be lying if I said it hasn't crossed my mind before. I feel like that's with anyone who wears hijab. You kind of start thinking like what would life be like if you didn't wear it? You look at other people who don't wear it and you think like their life must, must be so much easier. They just must be so much happier. I chose to wear a hijab for myself and I feel like it really fits my personality and I truly love modesty. I just have to remind myself of that sometimes because sometimes I'll look at my sisters or look at other people that I know and I think, oh, like it would be so nice to be able to fix my hair. Sometimes I think, oh, it would just be nice if people wouldn't like criticize me for showing too much neck or showing too much ankle or just criticizing the way that I wear it whenever in reality the hijab is such a personal journey for every single woman and can look a little bit different based on like what part of your journey you're on but thankfully I've never considered removing it. Your mental health is very dependent on social media. I would say that this used to be true but I'm really working on this so I would say like before I had Elena literally my entire life was just revolved around my YouTube channel and Instagram and like I would just base my self-worth off of how other people perceived me online and that was extremely detrimental mental to my mental health because anytime I would receive any kind of negativity I would just literally be broken and I really just had to figure out how to remove myself from that and figure out like what I feel about myself as a person and what the people around me like my family and friends that I know that who know me in real life what they think about me I feel like I'm getting much better at this you think cancel culture is getting too much and yes, girl, this is so true. I feel like so many of us can agree that 2020 was the year of cancel culture and it is so toxic. And as Muslims, we're taught to give excuses to other people and just give them the benefit of the doubt. And if someone apologizes to, you know, forgive and move on and, who are we to judge other people if they're able to, you know, learn from their mistakes and apologize, you know, like we're not God, so. That's just, that's my thoughts. You received a lot of marriage proposals and I actually, I actually didn't receive any marriage proposals because basically our entire Muslim community knew that Omar and I were together from like when we were children. <laughs> that's not true though. What do you mean? Your dad told me you received quite a few. Actually, I think like three or four. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to him about that because I never heard about these. <laughs> Maybe my dad just didn't say anything to me because he knew I wouldn't be interested. I guess, yeah, he thought you wouldn't entertain the yeah, <laughs> idea. Yeah, I mean, because he knew we were together too, so yeah. it's so funny. You saved yourself for marriage and this is true and I really don't have much to say about that other than I'm just thankful because I know it's not easy to do. You plan on making your own business slash fashion line and what do you guys think? Would you guys like to see a fashion line for me? Would you like to see a beauty line? There may or may not be some things in the works for this year. So yeah, I would love to know what you guys would like to see from me if I was to have my own business. You don't own any clothing slash items that don't fit your aesthetic slash theme. And I would, I would say this is probably true, but mainly because I don't like clutter. I don't like things just sitting in my closet or in my house that aren't going to get used. And so I passed on things that don't really match my vibe because I know that I won't wear them. You almost gave up breastfeeding. Thankfully, we are still breastfeeding at six months. Not to say that we didn't have bumps in the road during this journey because there were times that she refused the breast. There were times that I felt like I wasn't making enough milk for her. So yeah, not easy, but I'm very proud of myself that we're still going on strong and I also wanted to mention that I do not judge anyone however you feed your baby is the best way for you and your baby so no judgments here you're secretly pregnant with number two is sending much love and no I'm not pregnant right now I hope not <laughs> no uh, we're we're thinking I mean hopefully inshallah maybe later this year way later <laughs> But um, maybe like, next year. <laughs> yeah, maybe next year. <laughs> we don't know yet. <laughs> Thank you guys for sending in your assumptions. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and got to know me a little bit more on a personal level. And now you can kind of get to see why my style is the way that it is based off my personality. Thanks again to Madewell for sponsoring today's video. I will link all of the Madewell products down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. And I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.